Hello everyone, come on in. And when you come in, tell me where you're signing from and give me one word to describe a challenge in your life right now. Since this is Mental Health Awareness Week, there's so much talk around our mental well-being. So as you sign in, tell me one challenge you're having in your life right now. And then I'm going to read out from my book, A Radical Awakening. Grab your copy at eradicalawakening.com. I'm doing my 10-day course on Sunday. Sign in, join in, be there. You're going to get three copies and you're going to get another course of mine, 75% off. But you have to join in to find out the details. Join in at eradicalawakening.com. <clears throat> so Lazitika says, my teenage kid being rebellious. May Helen Brand says, estranged from parent. Um, equality, anxious in South Africa. So tell me what your challenge is right now in your, in your personal life. Um, mother of an 18 month old, time management as a mother. A lot of stuff going on in the world, I know. Health issues, time to fit everyone in, holding stress in my body. So teenage son, you guys should take my teenage course. I have a good teenage course on my website, Conscious Parenting with Teenagers. Maybe you guys need to check it out. Dealing with an avoidant, dismissive person, learning to stop being nice. Husband is panicky as infected with COVID. Trying to calm him down, trying to calm him down. Low self-esteem, self-care. Okay, depressed. So being my authentic self, divorce. So can you guys at least see that all humans on earth have challenges? There's not a single person who doesn't have a challenge, yes? So this idea of co-parenting with a narcissist, I'm always angry, it's making an impact on my kids. Acceptance of the what is and what is not. Balance between husband and newborn. Cold treatment from partner. Dealing with relationships with family and friends. Everyone is so stressed out. It has impacted many relationships. Always thinking of wrong decisions. So you see how much everybody is going through. We are all struggling at wherever level we are at. So comparing yourself to someone else is the first thing you gotta stop. Because the moment you go through something, you think that you are a failure. Nobody else is going through it except for you. Then you feel like people are talking about you in a particular way. That is your number one killer, inner critic, that keeps telling you, oh, people are talking bad about you, what will people say? Our number one problem, really, in terms of our issue with the outside world, is what will people say? W W P S. What will people say? Yeah, that is our number one problem when it comes to making decisions, when it comes to making a change in our lives. The, and the internal problem is because we are not worthy on our own. We're not worthy within ourselves. Because we're not worthy inside, we care about what people will say. So we also care that things go according to the plan because we feel that if they don't go according to the plan, we're going to fall apart. So we're constantly coming up against unworthiness. We feel so afraid to make changes in our lives because we are afraid of some consequence. We, we are afraid of some consequence. On page 283 in my book, A Radical Awakening, I talk about most women don't create boundaries because we imagine some terrible future consequence, such as being rejected, deserted, invalidated, financially crippled, or shamed in some way. We imagine the worst, and this projection, this imagination that the worst is going to happen, keeps us silenced and withdrawn. What we don't realize is that what we fear 
has already occurred in some way, shape, or form. Reading from my book, A Radical Awakening, listen to this again. What we don't realize is that what we fear has already occurred in some way, shape, or form. We, are, we imagine that the people in our life won't understand us, correct? For example, guess why we have this fear? Because they already don't understand us. If they understood us, we wouldn't fear that they wouldn't understand us. You understand? <laughs> when we think, oh my God, how will I go through X? Because I won't be able to manage. You are already not managing it. So whatever fear you have is because you already have the fear. It's not fear in the future. It's already here right now. If you're afraid that you'll be alone in the future, you're already feeling alone right now. So there is no such thing as something in the future. We are not psychic. I tell myself and all the people in my practice. And who said that that's going to come true? Who said that that's going to happen? When did you become a psychic? Many of our thoughts that create anxiety is because we think we are psychic. We just decide the future. And guess what? We don't know the future. We only know the present. But because it's already happened in the present, we now project it into the future. So we're talking about my book, A Radical Awakening. Go to radicalawakening.com for my 10-day course starting Sunday. We're going to go through so much amazing stuff from Sunday. I'm telling you, I have good stuff planned for you. Go get the course. We imagine a terrible future without realizing that this fear of the future comes from events already occurring or having occurred in our past. In fact, it's from our past that we glean evidence for the future. If the past hadn't occurred the way it did, we wouldn't be imagining it in our future. If, say for example, you have already shown yourself that you are a badass, that you are strong, that you are capable, then you won't be projecting in the future, how will I do it? I don't know how I'll manage, right? You're only going to project into the future what you already know in the present. It's coming from your own fountainhead, from your own mind, and you think it's real. And I always tell my clients, nothing about the future is real. And the one thing that this pandemic has shown us is that all our plans for the future were just plans in our head, ideas, fantasies, all naive, childish ex expectations. The pandemic has shown me, I don't know about you, you can make plans in a hazy way, like in an outline, but I'm not filling in details anymore because the future is unknown. All I know is the present. And if I'm in the present moment and I'm strong and empowered and aligned and authentic in the present moment, then step by step by step by step, I will come into the future, but I'll be in the present in the future. So I'm always in the present and the future moment will only come when I enter that moment. In my own life, I try to discipline my mind not to enter the future not to make huge plans for the future. I'll make a general plan. Like it would be nice if I'm still alive and it would be nice if we could travel in summer of 2022. It would be so nice. But that's about it. And I kind of generally make some directional plans, but I don't make huge plans for the future because I trust that if my present is aligned, it's going to take me to all the futures I want. And because our present moments are not aligned, then we enter the future in, a, in fear. But if you're aligned right now, how, how is there anything to be afraid of in the future? Except dying, and you know you could die at any point. You could die right now, sorry to say. But besides death, Every other thing for the most part, right? Maybe physical illness is another thing. But all mental stuff, if you're aligned in the present moment, your mental stuff will be in order 
And so when you reach that future moment that you're so scared about, you will be in order. You'll be okay. So only because you have this idea that the future is separate from the present or the future even exists, that you go crazy about the future and don't make changes. In the moment, you need to be aligned and you need to keep asking yourself, am I in the present moment? Am I aligned right now? And if you are, then you go from the present to the next present to the next present. And that is living an aligned life. So in the present, if you're messed up, yes, then your future is going to be messed up. Of course it is. Because you take your present frame of mind into the future. That's why they say when you leave one relationship, don't jump into the next one because you're going to mess it up because you're taking the same crap with you. So you have to clean up your inner world. You have to heal yourself before you go into the next moment. So here's my book, A Radical Awakening. Go to eradicalawakening.com. Buy the book or the course. If you go get the course, you get some books with the course and you get a huge discount on one of my other courses, eradicalawakening.com. Go buy it for your best friend, for your mother, for your sister, for yourself. I always ask my clients, is your now palatable? If it is not, don't worry about the future. First, accept that the present is unbearable. We must work to create health and well-being in the now. It makes no sense to worry about what tomorrow will bring when today is already toxic. It's like wanting to wait a few days to put out the fire, even though it's going to burn the house right here, right now. Awakened women have a lot to express, not because we desire to be noisy for the sake of attention, but because we are living, breathing citizens of this world who are affected by events around us. We are curious and engaged and caring. We will not be a pushover anymore or be silenced. Our voice must be heard. So I know I made a big shift on to awaken women. I'm like, what? Because this is at the end of a chapter. So if you read the whole chapter, it would make sense. Nothing matters more than our inner state. As we fine tune our inner synchrony, we become more seasoned at discerning toxic elements in the world around us. Soon our entire life shifts into a near perfect manifestation of this inner harmony. We begin to live life from the inside out. We taste what it means to be empowered and free. So guys, this book is 380 pages. Okay, it's a journey. If you want to take your spiritual quest seriously, then books like mine, I'm not saying mine is the only one, but since it's out this week, you can indulge it. Books like mine help you go on this journey. All my wisdom at that moment when I was writing it is in here. My heart, my soul, my journey, how I got through things, how you can reframe things in your mind, all in this book. I typically write paradigm shifting books. I don't write simple books, really. I write things that will change the climate or the tide of our lives. I try to write books that are impactful and meaningful and deep and transformative. So this is what this book is. So if you're feeling like you're falling apart, Dina, then here, get this book. It's a woman's book written by a woman, deeply empathic, deeply caring for other women. So go to eradicalawakening.com. Many of your answers will be found here. Yes, it is on Audible. I had to say the whole book on Audible. It took me five bloody long days because it's exhausting. So here are some questions we should keep asking ourselves. How did I contribute to my current situation? How did I contribute to my current situation? How did I co-create my current relationship? What are my patterns? Am I falling prey to my same patterns? In my own life, I began hearing my patterns. I began hearing myself say the same damn thing over and over and over again. And I kept saying the same thing, 
hoping that one day the other person would change X, Y, or Z. And after decades, I realized, oh my goodness, nobody's changing. <laughs> I was like, kept going, kept going, kept going. No, the only person that was supposed to change is us. Somebody just bought the book at Barnes and Noble. Yay, yay, yay. And it's on audio. Simply Carrie started reading it and loves to hear it on audio as well. Would I be interested in a relationship with you? Mm, I'm in a relationship with everyone. I began reading the sentence and I was like, oops. <laughs> um, no, she's not interested. <laughs> Rainbows and, and unicorns says, no, she's not interested. <laughs> okay, guys, come on. Priya says, my books are full of actionable wisdom. Yep, universal truth, you're right. They don't change. We have to change ourselves. Rosabelle says, I'm going to go buy it. You can buy it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, anywhere. M. Sarbacher is making her purchase today. Yes, yes, yes. A radical awakening. I have beautiful testimonials. Let me read my testimonials. From Eckhart Tolle, who's a dear friend. He writes, a radical awakening will be of great help to anyone who is ready to transcend the limitations of their personal as well as cultural conditioning and awaken to their true nature as the eternal presence of consciousness itself. Alicia Keys writes, the awakened woman breaks free from the clutches of fear and rises in her authentic power. These pages speak to this process and highlight how every woman can get there step by step. Profoundly inspiring, this book will spark you to reach toward and step into your greatest freedom. Gabor Mate says, Dr. Shafali's latest book is a powerful call for women to divest themselves of their patriarchy imposed roles of automatic and compulsive caregivers at the cost of their physical health, emotional well-being and spiritual awareness. And Marie Forleo, the best, Marie Forleo writes, simply brilliant, step by step and chain by chain. Dr. Shafali gives us a path to break free from our old patterns, to arrive at a new destination, our truest, most authentic self. Go to a radicalawakening.com. My course starts on Sunday. I'm giving away three books. Plus, you're going to get 75% off another course. You have to join to find out. It starts on Sunday. It's my only course, I promise you, for 2021. Eradicalawakening.com. You have to do the work. If you want to change, you guys, I'm sorry to say, you have to get a therapist or a coach or take my course or someone else's course. It's not going to just hit you because you want it. The work I've done on myself has gone on for 25 years or more. I began meditating when I was 21 years old. I went for my first retreat. I'm 48 years old right now, okay? 27 bloody long years. Evolution is a quest. It's action. You have to take action. You have to invest in it. You have to spend money. You have to spend time. But when you do, it's the best investment of your life. When you do it with a teacher who can teach you, somebody who can guide you, your bubbles will burst, your light bulbs will go off and your life will change. But if you don't invest the time or the money, how are you gonna change? How's it gonna happen? Just by wanting the other person to change? No, that's what this book is about. You go change, you make the effort, you spend the time and your life will change. Okay guys, eradicalawakening.com. Go get it. Go get a copy of your book.